Hey, Dr. Denton Dombrowski here. I'm a private practice optometrist. Um, I own my own practice. I started it cold about four and a half years ago. This video is for optometry times, but I actually have my own YouTube channel where I post educational videos about eye health and vision related products. And you can subscribe to that. We'll make sure to leave the link down below, but it's the page for Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear. I'm also going to include some helpful notes down in the description below so that you can check those out at any time during today's video. So today we're talking about mybography and anterior segment imaging and we'll be covering the MyBox. I'm going to talk to you about the usability of the device, some pros and cons when it comes to using it, as well as patient care and what my experience has been, what I've been able to see and image since I've had it in the last five days. So let me give you a little bit of background. Uh, like I said, I'm a doctor of optometry, as you probably are if you're watching this. I have my own private practice that I started cold four and a half years ago. I've always been very proactive about treating dry eye in my practice, so it's not like I'm inventing this from um, absolute square one. Uh, but as a new practitioner and starting a practice cold, of course I didn't have the money to get every single diagnostic and treatment device. And so starting out, I really have treated dry eye by using a combination of questionnaires, really good patient histories, great slit lamp exams, floor scene, of course, you know, all the basic things. And then my practice is elevated a little bit from the baseline by just offering a lot of dry eye products. So um, we offer tears at my practice, brooder masks, and things of that sort, the, all the lid scrubs. Um, we also started using Inflamadry a couple of years ago as well, and that certainly enhanced the experience. However, I'm looking to really elevate that experience at this point. If you're going from a baseline level, like me, of treating some dry eye, offering these products, and you're trying to elevate your dry eye center, you might be going through some of the things I am, which is figuring out the right diagnostic equipment, the right treatment equipment to offer and then how to package those up and look at the operations for your practice. In the course of finding the right diagnostic equipment, I've been looking at anterior segment imaging and one of the devices that um, was suggested to me was the MyBox. So today's video is all about the MyBox. All right, so what is it? MyBox is an anterior segment camera. It's really nice because it can be used independently from the slit lamp or with the slit lamp. It's very mobile, you can move it from room to room if you so choose, and you could certainly use it for patients who are unable to get up into the slit lamp, maybe even on some of your kiddos for imaging of them. Because you can get so close to the eye, I think it's just really a great option for examining the interior segment when you can't get someone in the traditional slit lamp. In terms of usability, it is gonna fit on most slit lamps. Um, I actually have what some would call an ancient hog stripe slit lamp in one of my exam rooms. I acquired it when I bought another practice um, for their equipment and it doesn't fit. The MyBox doesn't fit on that. So if you have any newer generation slit lamps, certainly anything you've bought probably in the last 10 or 20 years, you're fine, um, most likely. But if you have really ancient slit lamps in any of your rooms, just keep in mind you might have to be completely slit lamp free and use your hands for imaging in that room. Also in terms of usability, so there's a little bit of skill required. Of course, if it's mounted on the slit lamp, you're gonna have to be able to use a slit lamp. So um, having your team do this right away might not be 100% feasible. My team unboxed the MyBox and started playing with it and using it on each other without using a slit lamp. So they actually got pretty good at doing it without the slit lamp. Um, but that method, again, it, it, there's a learning curve to it. So to image the upper glands, you're going to have to flip the lids. And so that's something my team members had to become comfortable with. Let's talk about the software. The software is easily downloaded. It doesn't take up too much space on your computer or affect you know, the speed of your computer at all. Everything is great with that. There's one login that you can use to log into every computer within the office, which I think is a really nice feature. So even if you're just imaging in one of your exam rooms or potentially a pretest area, you'll be able to access those images no matter what room you're in. All right, so let's get into some pros and cons of the MyBox. The pros that I really like is the price. So for what it does, it's priced very competitively, a lot lower than some of the other options on the market. 
I like that it's mobile, so mobility is really key, being able to take it off the slit lamp and get imaging um, as you go wherever you are is kind of neat. Um, and it's also potentially comfortable for the patient to not have to be in the slit lamp. My team's gotten pretty good at imaging without the slit lamp, and that's one thing they said, they're kind of able to talk to the patient throughout the exam, they're not, um, you know, there's no barrier with the slit lamp. Some cons, this is not a live exam. So some of the competitors for this product are gonna offer you the live exam option. So like a, a slit lamp imaging, slit lamp camera, it's gonna offer more of that live exam experience and this is not that. It does have some capability with um, not only the meibomian glands, but imaging the tear film, Im imaging some anterior segment stuff. But to be fair, I haven't gotten to use every single function. We've mostly used it for mybography at this point. Um, it doesn't have all the functionality of a slit lamp camera, is my understanding. So it's going to be a little bit more limited, but again, the price point's really nice. So if you're looking for something to just up your diagnostics, um, so that you can show your patients what's going on and maybe have better compliance with treatment, it could be a good place for you to start. The mobility issue here, so we talked about that as a pro, so it is a mobile device, you can use it without the slit lamp, but to me that also gives you a little bit of a con, so we've been describing it as yoga. There's a certain amount of yoga you have to be able to do in order to successfully use the device and image the glands. All right, so those are some logistical things about um, the hardware, the software, using the device, all of those kinds of thoughts. And then the second piece of it, if you're a doctor wondering about the device, is what's it like for patient care? Can I see the glands? Will I be able to, you know, how many of my patients are gonna have my and gland issues and what's that look like? So when I got this device, we didn't decide to use it on every single patient because it is a little bit time intensive. So what I did was I've had everybody in the past week with known dryness or my and gland dysfunction actually go through these images. I've also elected to do it on sort of a range of patients, some young patients, some old patients, um, patients in dish, different racial demographics as well because I wanted to get a sense of how well I'd be able to see the glands no matter what skin tone. So in some respects, the results are surprising. I imaged my own team and I'm gonna put some of their images here as well as my own. And most of us looked pretty good, but it was interesting that some of the images had a little bit of, um, you know, early alterations in the gland, glands that are starting to get kind of wiggly or squiggly early on, glands that are a little bit thicker than the average. At least one of my team members had a lot of gland dropout, which was completely unbeknownst to her. Uh, her only symptom is just not being able to wear contacts. So that was really enlightening. And now I'm gonna show you some of the patients I took pictures of. I'm gonna put the this one up here is a patient that has recurrent styes. I've actually got two patients that came in with recurrent styes. I'll put them both right there. And both of these patients had exactly what I'd expect. A lot of gland dropout, um, maybe even some styes present right now, a lot of thickening of glands, and a lot of just irregularity. So this was great to be able to show them exactly what I've been telling them for months or years. I'm gonna show you another one. This one is a patient who is in her 20s, working on computers a lot, um, a lot more lately, especially from home, and having a lot of discomfort and dryness and eye strain. So in this case, really not bad, no gland dropout, um, a little bit of early alteration of the glands. And so we were able to talk to her about exactly what we saw and reassure her that there's no gland dropout, and get her on a proper course of treatment to prevent gland dropout from ever happening. All right, so to wrap it all up, I think that the MyBox is a great option. I love that the company lets you do a trial if you're really interested. So that's something if, if you're looking at this, definitely contact the company and see if they'll let you do it as well. I don't know if that's every single region, if they have that availability everywhere, but it's something to consider. Um, I have enjoyed having it, it's taught me a lot. I didn't realize how much gland dysfunction could be out there, even in your mildly symptomatic patients. And so it will definitely affect how, you know, the protocol going forward of who will test and who we won't, who will image and not. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video and potentially learned something. If you have further questions about dry eye or, or starting a dry eye center, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm in the process of starting a dry eye center right now, and so I'd love to hear from you and share best practices because it is a lot of fun and um, there's a lot to learn. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time.